Hello everyone and welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about the danger of having too many tabs open on your computer. Let's check it out. So to put it simply, uh, strains on your CPU is the biggest risk of having multiple tabs open. And if you're using too much of your RAM um, and running your processor up with all those tabs, there there is a chance that you could experience slow PC or performance issues. You might also um, experience applications crashing or not wanting to open. And your computer could even crash from that if you have that going on. So it's a lot of different things you could run into. Now, not all computers are made equal, right? We know that they don't all have the same RAM or processor uh, capabilities that the next one might have, right? So if one computer has a high performance processor, like an X model and 32 or 64 gigabytes RAM, it's going to outperform a computer with only eight gigabytes RAM or four gigabytes RAM and a low uh, power or um, budget processor, right? So some, some processors are made and they're not as powerful as others. Unfortunately, it would be nice if all processors were as powerful as the next, but they're not. Some of them are made with um, low power in mind for like laptops, right? So they might be like energy saving processors or power saving processors, and they might also just be like low budget or um, cost effective processors for computers that are gonna be cheap or sold for lower prices than those high performance machines. So everybody can afford a computer right well if you have one of those machines unfortunately you're just not going to be able to have as much open as say the guy with the high performance processor and 32 gigabytes ram but before we dive into who can do what and you ask hey well i have this and and can i run this can i have this many tabs open with this let me just show you how to check it yourself so the easiest way to do that is from your task manager so go ahead and hit uh control shift and escape if you didn't know, on your keyboard, Control, Shift, and Escape will open your task manager. So once you have your task manager open, we can look at these numbers. You have to make sure you have more details open, right? So click on more details in your task manager, and you'll see the numbers at the top, the percentages. These show usage, right? So one of the um, option, one of the listed items there is processor, and another one is memory. So processor is for your CPU, and then memory is for your RAM, shows your RAM usage. So if you click on memory, it'll bring the highest usage item to the top of the list. So you'll be able to see what's using the most RAM on your computer. You can do the same for processor. So look as I do it, go figure. We're talking about tabs and uh, browser tabs being open, that being the culprit of usage of your RAM. And sure enough, on my computer, the highest, the biggest item in the list, highest RAM usage is Firefox, my browser. Now watch as I add pages left and right. So we'll do facebook.com, amazon.com, aol.com, yahoo.com. Uh, we'll do a search for bears, cats, everything oh my. And look at that, look at the memory usage, it shoots up, the percentage, that number just keeps climbing. If that number gets too high, if it gets 90% or more, that's when we're talking like real performance crashes. Even at 80, you really don't wanna see it that high. You wanna try to keep your usage low so that your computer can handle the workload that it has with ease, right? The biggest thing is trying to keep it um, under that 90%, I would say, I try to always keep it below that. I don't really have problems with that, but when I see clients, call in and they go over that, they seem to run into more issues, especially if their computer's been running for a long time with that much uh, much usage going on in play, the processor and the RAM sitting above 90% for a long time, start to run into issues, maybe things don't work, things crash, computer crashes again. So that's a good way to check it. In conclusion, just close some tabs. There's probably some tabs in there you don't need open. I would almost guarantee it. It'll help with your productivity and help keep your computer healthy for longer. Like, share, and follow. Please, everybody, smash those down below, the like, share, and follow buttons. If you'd like to see some more tech tips in the future from Ty, tech tips from Ty in the future. Look forward to it. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day.